In this video, I will show you how to fix if you're getting an error message for the Roblox account manager where it says Roblox account manager failed to launch. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see on my desktop. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is try uninstalling and reinstalling Roblox fully. So to do that, come down to your search box in the bottom left hand corner. Just go ahead and type remove programs. Then underneath best match, you want to click onto add or remove programs. So what that's going to do is open up a window like this and all you want to do is use the search box and just type Roblox. Now just a note, if you are using the Microsoft Store version of Roblox, the Roblox account manager does not work with the Microsoft Store version. You need to make sure you're using the official Roblox Player app downloaded from the Roblox website. But what you want to do is basically uninstall every instance of Roblox from here. So you would just click and then click onto uninstall. And once that's done, you want to open up a new internet browser, come across to roblox.com forward slash download and download the app back onto your PC. Now, once that's done, you should now be able to choose the Roblox account manager. If you're still having problems is another thing you can do. So if we come back to my desktop, and what you want to do is locate the Roblox account manager on your PC. So you can use your file explorer to do this. And what you want to do is right click onto the account manager. From this menu that comes up, you want to come down and click onto properties. And that's going to open up a window like this. From here, you want to come to the tabs at the top and click onto compatibility. Now what you need to do is turn on compatibility mode. So you want to tick the box here and make sure this is set to Windows 7. And you also want to tick the two boxes down here to disable full screen optimizations and to run this program as an administrator. Once you've done that, be sure to come down, click apply and okay to apply the changes. You should now be able to successfully launch the Roblox account manager. So with that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it. If you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just wanna take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next next video.